Uh, hi everyone, this is Paul. Um, uh, I got a new bike the other day and uh, I can't believe I own this. Um, you ever seen that picture of the guys on Repack in the 70s? It's long and there's a bunch of guys on old bikes like this. Well, this bike is in that picture. Uh, and this is a, uh, I think it's a 55 Spitfire. It's got a little stronger frame. It's got a lower bottom bracket. It's got a little steeper head tube angle. This looks like this could be your grandpa's bike you found in a barn, but every single part has been assembled to race repack. And I am just, I have chills thinking I have this bike. I am so excited. It belonged to a guy named Ian Stewart. Uh, and he died and a guy named Alan Bonds took it, uh, took custody of it. I think this was uh, a long time ago. Uh, and he had it for a long time and he sold it to a guy named Jeff Hallibert. And if you've been in Marin at any time in the past 10 or 15 years uh, in the bike scene, you know who that is. Not a, somebody in the industry, but a, uh, just a really cool bike guy. Um, he passed away <clears throat> last year, and I have a weird connection with him because we love uh, George Nakashima furniture. And we actually went to the Nakashima workshop in New York together uh, during one of the Philadelphia Bike Expos about two years ago. So this connection to this bike means a lot to me. And like I said, it looks like this could just be your cruiser. You're taking to the bar. Got a Laguna Fork. It's got, this was the state of knobbies in the 70s. This is, this is a 70s situation here. This is way before downhill bikes were invented. Um, every part, like I said, a Bendix heavy duty front hub, 105 gauge spokes. Uh, I don't remember the stem, but it's not stock. The grips, every single part. Um, we got the skip tooth uh, heart slash star chain ring and this this is this combo right here this i'm not going to ride up no railroad grade in this thing um uh, i i could see going down repack i'm old and slow so i'd go slow but there's no way there's no going uphill with this uh which you know they didn't they got it they got to ride in the back of a flatbed truck it's got a moro hub which was the number one choice for coaster brakes back in the day the seat is special. I think uh, this is an S3 rim. I'm not remembering, you know, it's one of the S rims. Uh, but just like, the thing is he died shortly after this has been raced. It, no bolt or nut has been touched since repack. So this is a total time machine. And just so excited to share it with you. And I do have it, it is mine, but I just the caretaker. And um, uh, if you're in the area, come stop by the shop. We've got a great collection of bikes here. Uh, this is gonna be the crowning jewel. <laughs>